So we have an interesting question here. Firm A and B have revenues of 10 million and the revenues are same. Quick ratio of 0.79 for both of them. However, A has a higher receivable turnover ratio. Then it is most likely that B has a letter better liquidity. A's average rate of receivable is higher. B has lower cash ratio than A. So let's look at uh, this data carefully. Quick ratio is calculated as cash plus marketable securities plus accounts receivable divided by current liability. So let's assume that this is quick ratio of A and the same story is repeated for B cash plus marketable securities plus accounts receivable divided by current liability. The quick ratio for both the firms is same which is given as 0.79. However, A has higher receivable turnover ratio. Receivable turnover ratio is calculated as sales divided by average accounts receivable. And same is the story here. Sales divided by average accounts receivable. A has a higher turnover ratio. We know that sales of both the firms is same. So the fact that ratios are different and A has higher, that means the denominator of A must have been a lower number. So what it means is that the accounts receivable, average accounts receivable values of A is lesser than B and that's why it has got a higher turnover ratio. Now once we know this, we use that logic here that accounts receivable value of A is lesser which means relatively accounts receivable value of B is higher. However, the total ratios of both the firms is same and if the total ratio has to be same which means that cash and marketable security of A has to be relatively higher and cash and marketable security of B has to be relatively lower and how do we calculate cash ratio? We say simply cash divided by current liability. Since cash component of security B is going to be relatively lower, the correct answer in this case is option C. B has a lower cash ratio than A.